Hi, I'm Anita Moore, and I'm a decorative artist. Today I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step on how to paint this spring door tag. It's with a coneflower and a monarch tag, and it's done on a jumbo uh, tag, 6x10. So let's get started. The supplies that I'm using today is uh, DecoArt Americana acrylics. Uh, I'm also using the Dynasty Black Gold brushes. I'm going to show you a different technique on this background. And I've already went ahead and sanded my surface with a multi-purpose sealer. I let it dry, I sanded it again, and I used um, the tacky cloth um, to remove any dust particles. Um, I do want to show you something that you can do with this gift tag. If you wanted to, you can get two and you would paint it and you would put them both together like this on your door uh, or wall and i think that'd be really cute but today i'm just doing the one uh, just like this so i have here it's a large oval foam brush and i use these to uh, base coat around the edges so that i can leave this natural therefore you can paint on the back another project um, on my website, I, I do have these brushes. It's um, any of his favorite brushes. There's a small, large, and a, a little uh, quarter-inch flat wash. If anyone is interested, they can uh, go ahead and have a look. So how to use these brushes? You're going to wet this a little bit. And I have a um, blue shop paper towel. I'm going to squeeze it just to remove excess water. And we're gonna paint the uh, background with aloe and uh, a mix of cool white. You can, um, this is totally optional, you can leave it just aloe if you choose. I chose to uh, tone it down just a, a little bit. So I will put one coat of uh, aloe with a couple drops of cool white. Then I'm gonna use my um, palette knife. I'm going to mix these two colors together just to tone it down. Okay. So what I do is I take my large foam brush and I'm going to just drag it to pick up paint. I don't want blobs because if you have blobs at the end of your brush, what happens is you're gonna go over your line. So you just put it, set it down and then just drag your brush to the end. So you're gonna do along the sides and then after that we pick up um, um, a one inch wash brush and paint, base coat the rest of um, the surface. Turn this around. Okay, and as you can see, I don't have any paint that went along my edges. Now I'm going to pick up my one inch uh, flat wash. I'm going to pick up some paint. And I'm just going to base coat the rest. Now this will uh, need a couple coats of uh, aloe. So just go in uh, along the wood grain from up and down, uh, long brush strokes. And if you find your um, your brush just drags, add a little bit more water to it. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. I need my brush. Okay. 
Okay, so I went ahead and applied a second coat of aloe and cool white. I sanded it with a little sanding pad and wiped it with the tacky cloth. The next step that we're going to do is uh, to apply a uh, Decart Vintage Effect Wash. Um, and you use a um, one inch flat wash brush and wet. So I'm going to dip it in my jar and I going to use long brush strokes so just go along the wood grain and it doesn't matter if you um, go along the edges because you're going to add uh, floats Okay, now I'm going to let this dry and sand it again. Be right back. We're going to float around the edge with light avocado, and I'm going to use a 20 uh, inch shader brush. And um, I like to add uh, extender medium to my floats. So I put uh, extender all along the edges. I don't want like big puddles. I just want to wet it um, so it's easy to um, go all the way around. Now I'm going to apply um, extender again to my brush. I'm going to pick up some light avocado, blend my brush. Okay, and I'm going to start from the top. These could be really long, choppy floats. I'm going to pick up my mop brush and just pounce just to line up the floats. Now, the way that I, I do this is I'll do a top and then I do the bottom so that I don't uh, remove the uh, float that I just, just did. So again, I'm going to blend some more paint. I'm going to go to the bottom. And if you find that it drags, pick up some more extender. I'm going to soften up my float with my mop brush. Just pounce up and down. Okay, I'll go back to the top area. And do my corners. If you find your mop brush got too um, wet, take a um, uh, paper towel and wipe your brush on on the paper towel just to remove excess uh, water and extender. Okay, now the sides. I'm going to pick up some more extender. If you find you, you took some of the corner off, that's okay. We can fix that. Just mop along the edge and it'll tone it down. Okay, let's do the other side. So just pick up a little bit at the corner, drag it. Just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to go on to stamping. 
Okay, I wanted to show you this on camera. I had uh, sanded all along the edges just to make it um, rough looking or primitive. So I took my little sanding pad and uh, what I did is uh, sand it along the edge. I'm sorry if the camera's moving. And this will move, move some of the float, some of the paint. This is totally optional if you want to leave it the way it is. So always go along the wood grain. See how that tones down the float a little bit when you do that? You can wrap up the corners just a little bit more. I'm going to take my little tacky cloth here. I'm just going to wipe some of this dust. And I'll remove my paper towel. The next step is um, adding um, our stamping. And I have with me, it's uh, from Stupendous. It is a um, vintage note. And I'm using Memento um, Tuxedo Black. And I went a little bit in the center, but mostly along the edges and very lightly. I'm going to take this off. And for this step here, um, you can use like just the center part, the edges. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of ink on here. And don't just press lightly you can go along the edge oops I went a little crooked on that one I'm just going to wipe this off I'm going to try and go a little straight so I have to wait till it um it dries on that side okay I'm going to go back to the top one at the bottom okay we're gonna let the ink dry okay so i went ahead and i traced my uh, design on a transferred paper and i transferred it onto my surface using gray graphite paper and i base coated um, my petals uh, pink chiffon my stem with uh, light avocado, the center with burnt sienna, and my butterfly with lamp black. We're gonna start off with the stem. And uh, for, for the inside, I dry brushed with um, a mix of light avocado and cool white using a chisel blender. And when you use a chisel blender, uh, you always use it dry. So I'm gonna load up with the light avocado and I'm going to wipe it on the paper towel. I'm going to pick up some cool white and blend. And you want to do this until it's almost like the paint's almost off the bristles. I'm going to lightly brush the center just to give it a different color. Okay. And then we're going to float the top part with avocado. So 
So I'm going to use um, my little shader here. And again, I like to use extender. So I'm going to dip it in the extender. I'm going to pick up some avocado. And I just want to shade the top of the stem. And we're going to go back and make this a little darker. Okay, so we're going to jump to the butterflies just to let the stem dry. And I went ahead and did the wings. Um, for this one here, you're going to use um, persimmon and tangerine. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, round brush or pardon me, my number four liner brush. And I'm just going to lightly pick up some tangerine, uh, persimmon, sorry. And I'm going to give one coat into the patches here. And then we can go back and fix the black once it dries up. It doesn't have to be a full solid color. I'm just going to turn this around. If anyone is interested in uh, this pattern packet, I do have it available on my website and I'll have all the link uh, to the supplies that I used today on uh, the bottom of the YouTube um, video. So once this is base coated, I'm going to float um, the top part with tangerine. So I'm going to pick up some extender here tangerine blend okay and you're gonna do um like the top little areas just to add a little color i'm gonna turn this around So we'll go back with the black and uh, blend it in again. It can be a little choppy. Okay. So I'll go back with um, my little liner here and I'll uh, pick up some lamp black and we'll fix up the, the wing. The body I did base coat it with uh, soft black. So you just gotta touch up the black here. Okay, we'll do the top part. Okay. Um, for the body, I um, dry brushed the center with a uh, cool white. So I'm going to pick up my little chisel blender here. And I'm going to pick up some cool white. And 
and I'm going to lightly um, float on the top of the body. Okay. I'm going to pick up my, um, it is an extra long detail uh, liner. It's a 10 0 uh, micron. And I'm going to pick up some extender and some um, soft black. And we're going to do the little antennas. I'm going to thin out my paint. And just from here to the center. And I have like a little. Um, a little thicker dot right here. Okay. Now, the little spots on the wing is done with cool white, and I use this liner uh, brush as well. So I'm going to thin out my paint just a little bit here. And uh, so I dab. Um, they can be different shapes. They don't have to be um, all the same circles, dots. If you add pressure to it, it'll make bigger dots. If you add light pressure, it, it'll just lightly uh, have small dots. I went along the body. Okay, now I'm going to turn this around and do the top wing. And as many as you want the little dots. What I do try is uh, not to get too close to the edge. All the way down here. Okay, and there you have your butterfly. So we're going to go back to our stem. And uh, we're going to darken this part here with um, avocado and um, soft, soft black. I'm going to pick this up, blend the two together. If you find it's too um, harsh, grab your little mop brush and just soften the edge. Okay, now we're going to take uh, our liner brush and we're going to add a little highlight and a dot with uh, our extender with our, our extra long detail brush. So along the side here, I'm just going to run this down and just add a couple dots. So for my petals, I, I uh, base coated pink chiffon. Oh, I'm sorry, blush pink. And I did uh, outline the um, petals with uh, like a chalk uh, pencil, just so that you can see um, the separation. And I also wanted to point out, which I, I did and I shouldn't have, I inked in the center of my um, surface and then when I went to base coat the ink kept popping out. You won't see it as much but I had to add extra uh, coats to this. So we're gonna float, we're gonna dry brush and float with uh, burgundy wine and I'm gonna use uh, my bigger uh, chisel blender and always have a um, paper towel on hand uh, for dry brushing. Okay, let's just dry this one up a little bit. And I always started from uh, the front of the petals and then I work my way to the sides. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some burgundy wine. 
and I'm going to dry this as much as possible. It is a dark color, so I always want to apply light. And then if you need more color, then you'll uh, just add a little bit more. So I started from this uh, the end here and just dry brush straight down. And just keep going. Uh, we can darken up if we need to. All the way to the stem. Or the tip of the petal, sorry. Okay, I'm going to pick up some more. Okay, I'm going to move over here and darken right here. Okay, keep going. I'm doing the tip as well. And when you add your highlights, um, this will the dry brushing will tone down. Okay, over here. I'm gonna dry brush. And this one here, because the petal goes into um like an arch, go with the petal. See how it just, you shape the petal by um, working with it. And underneath here, you can add more uh, shading underneath here. And again, this one goes, works its way down. So you're gonna try and shape it by following the petal. I'm going to pick a little bit more up. Oops. This one goes into a curve. Okay, now working on this side here. It's going to be along the edge right here. along here again I'm going with the shape of the petal and this one here too it's it's more darker here and we're gonna go around here. Okay, uh, once you're happy with it, and uh, you can just, uh, I'm just going to make sure that I got all my dry brush here, a little bit along the edge here. Okay, so. I'm going to um, float along the tips and the ends of the flower with uh, burgundy wine. So I'm going to pick up my little shader here. And, you know, always use brushes that I, it's best suited for you, what you're comfortable with. And I'm going to have my mop brush on hand. I'm going to pick up a... A new paper towel here okay so we're gonna start from the top and then work its way uh, to the left side so I'm gonna need a little bit more burgundy okay I think I'm gonna pick up a clean extender 
my little hole here. Okay. And again, just uh, make sure you really blend it because burgundy is really dark. And I'm going to work from the top here. And this is like choppy. Okay, and then I, I also dragged it along the bottom edge here. So I went all the way down very lightly. I'm going to just twist my brush. And I'm going to take a, a clean brush here. And uh, when you go over the line, just wipe it with a clean brush. Okay, so I'm going to take my mop brush. I'm going to just soften this up a little bit. And keep wiping it on your uh, paper towel just to remove excess water or paint. Okay, and I'm going to uh, float along the little tip here. I always like to put my surface uh, towards me wherever I'm going to float. So just chop this up. Okay, and uh, we're going to add our highlights at the end. Okay, I'm going to pick up some extender. Okay, here um, again, we're going to always float along the tip here and then um, the end. Okay, so oops, I'm going to float along the edge here. And then just drag it to the bottom area. If you have to, just touch it up with your mop brush. Okay, I do have some at the top here. So what I do is I turn this and uh, I'll pick up a little bit more. So very lightly, I'll go do the tip and I'll drag it to the top. And again, if you have to, just go back and add some more um, deeper floats. Like once this dries, maybe we can go add a little bit more at the tip here. Okay, this one here is kind of in between uh, the two petals. So I'm going to float here. All along the edge. I just leave my brush on an angle. I'll just touch this up. And then the tip here is uh, floated here. Again, we can always go back and darken these tips. down here there's a little arch right here I went over a little bit here Okay, I'm going to turn this around. I'm just going to float the edges on all of them for now. I'll do a few at a time. Okay, we're going to go all the way down right here. Oh, I need a little bit more extender. Notice my brush is just dragging here. Okay, start back at the top. All along the edge. Soften it up. I'm going to fix this petal right here just a little bit. Just 
clean it up. Okay. We are over here, so we're going to go right down. Okay, right up to here. I'm going to soften this up. I'm going to add some color at the tip here. So what you do is you leave a little gap because it will have highlights in them. Okay, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Okay, we're over here. Over here, because it's like a, a petal that goes on top of it, there's not much of a shading on this one um, because uh, there'll be more highlight towards the front. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of float here. Let me just turn this around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the tip. Again, we'll, we'll go back and add these uh, little dark at the end here. And this one here, I added a uh, photo for at the edge. And I kind of went all the way to the tip here. And this here can be choppy at the ends. Okay, we're moving along really good here. Okay, so I'm going to turn my uh, surface upside down. So I can do the ends here. And this one right here. Okay, I'm just going to tone this down. Okay, so we're over here. And I'm going to float the tip right here. Oh, you always have to make sure you, not to put your hand on the uh, wet paint which I almost did touch. Okay, this one here. I just love this petal right here. So I went from the top, I had some choppy floats here. Worked all here. And then we did um, all along the bottom here. Again, just keep your clean brush handy if you go over the line. Okay, right here. So there is a float underneath this one because the petal is underneath. So I'm soften this up. And then the tip here, I have too much water in my brush here, or extender. And then over here, um, we're going to go along the top edge, and along here. 
Okay, soften it up. Okay, I'm going to darken this a little here. Okay, and this petal here, it goes overlaps this one. So you have to go a uh, little edge here and go all the way underneath. Okay, I'm going to soften this up. the tip here okay and over here let's go from the top is it just make sure you get that little point right there okay we'll go back and darken this up we'll start back from the the top here we'll darken the ends okay so it still looks a little bit wet here but we had too much extender okay i want to darken um the tip here a little bit right here okay make sure i'm on camera Okay, right here, I want to darken this up some more. And along the edge here. Okay, right over here. Just, I just, you know, just dab to make it choppy. I'm going to make the ends a little darker here. Whoops. I'm going to add a little bit more over here. This here, we'll clean it up when we do um, some highlights. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay, I want it darker over here. Let me tip here. Okay, over here. You can keep uh, just make it like little choppies at the ends, and I have okay. I'm gonna just lightly shade that out. Okay, I'm going to go back and darken this up right here. I'm going to pick up a little extender. The brush is getting dry. is starting to come alive.
Okay, I'm going to darken the edges over here a little bit. Alrighty, so now we're going to add our highlights. So I started uh, dry brushing our highlights first and then I went in and I floated some. So for this I used pink chiffon and sometimes I added a little bit of cool white over top of it just to make it a little bit brighter in the front area. So let's get some uh, pink chiffon. And I'm going to add some cool white on my palette. Okay, so we're going to use the um, the uh, chisel blender and I'm going to use my smaller one. So I'm going to pick up and I'm going to dry it on my uh, paper towel. Okay, I'm going to start from the front here and I'm going to go along the edge. And this just blends really, really nice into the uh, pink blush, uh, blush pink. So mix these two together on the center here. Again, go up and down, not sideways. Oops. Okay, over here, I'm going to go along the edge. can make it a little darker after with uh, some white. And when, sometimes when you uh, dry brush, it may look darker at the beginning and when it dries, it really lightens up. So sometimes you have to go back and add a little bit more. Over here, whoops, I'm still wet. Uh, there's not so much on these ones here. This one, uh, a little bit over here. And what's good about these chisel blender, if you want to just do a line, all you do is drag. Okay, going this way here. It's a little bit wet here, so I'm going to be careful. There's not much on this one. Okay, so now I want to brighten up some. I'm going to add a little bit of cool white uh, to my, my brush. Okay, I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to uh, make this a little bit brighter. Again, not so much over here. A lot of 
over here. Oops, my brush is still wet. So blending and over here. Okay. I'm okay with that. Now we're going to add some uh, floats. And uh, I use pink chiffon and uh, my little mop brush here. I'm going to turn my paper towel around. And we can start from the top here. I'm going to pick up some extender. Okay, so we're going to uh, just go along the top stem. Petal, I'm sorry. Okay, and then, oops, along this one right here. So start from the tip there and just work its way down. So I'm going to just soften this up. And we can go back again. If it's not bright enough, we can go back in with some white. And over here, we have uh, some highlight here and just bring it to the tip and I have a little bit in the center area so you just dab a little line here this breaks it up Not sure I like how my white had uh, dry brushed here. I'm just gonna try and wipe some of this off. There we go. Okay, this one here, I'm gonna come here. And you won't even see the chalk uh, pencil that I had added. And along the bottom here. I'm going to turn this uh, around just a little bit there. Oops. I think I need to add a little bit more extender to my brush. You can always tell when you're brush drags that you don't have enough um, extender to it so it just pulls so when you add more then it does a really nice float okay over here kind of just breaks it up right here and at the tip here I'm just going to soften this up Okay, I'm going to keep this upside down because all my floats are near the top area. Okay, so right over here. Okay, right along the curve. I need some extender again.
Okay, there's none on here, and there is uh, one over on this side here. All the way down. And there's a little bit at the tip over here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add a little bit of cool white just to pop up some of this uh, highlight. And it's more um, towards the front area. Okay, so I'm going to add some right over here, just a little bit. Okay, and I think I'm going to add some over here, which I forgot. The tip right here, it's all uh, white. Just do a choppy and then work its way to the top here. Just going to soften it up. And then this one here, I'm going to add just a little bit at the top here. Make sure I don't touch my other wet floats. Okay, I'm just going to soften the tip right there. And I think I'm going to add some on the top right there. Right over here. A little bit more white. this up okay and uh, that's about it for the highlighting again if you want to go back and uh, make like the tips a little darker you can but I think I like it just the way it is okay and uh, for the final step it's the uh, center and uh, what I did was uh, use a chisel blender and uh, so a little bit of floating. So we're going to take our big chisel blender over here. And I need... So what I do first is I'm going to use a Napa Red and True Ochre. I'm going to dab these side by side. Okay, and uh, you use this dry, always use it dry. Just gotta look at my note here for a second. Okay, so what I did was I loaded with the true ochre, okay, and I dab the tip into the Napa Red. And what I did is I started from the top and uh, I worked my way down. I need a little bit more um, true ochre here. And then keep your brush straight and just keep working from top, working the way down. I'm going to keep picking up some yellow here. And then you're going to overlap um, the other um, detailed uh, yellow and, and Napa red. And if you find that it gets too messy, clean your brush and pick up new paint. It's 
So let me pick this up. Make sure the water doesn't drop. So I keep trying to uh, go with the shape of the um, of the um, center. And now I'll go back in with uh, my liner to add some uh, red in there. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna need a little bit more yellow here. Whoops. I touched my paper towel that had a little bit of paint on it. Just wipe this off really quick. Okay, I have to be careful here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more yellow. And when you get to the bottom, turn your brush so that you can get uh, the angle of it. Wait till we get to the bottom here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is um, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Okay, so I have my uh, Micron Long Extender um, Extra Long Detail here. I'm going to pick up some uh, Napa Red, and I'm going to add a little bit more dots uh, along the edges. So I just dab some red here. along the side and you can on the top area just add a little bit more okay I'm going to dry brush the center uh, with um, light avocado And again, I'm going to just use um, my chisel blender. Pick it up, dry brush, take as much paint as you can. And I just um, dry brush the center area. I have a little bit of white in my brush still. Just mix that in. Okay, I'm going to float the bottom with a uh, burnt umber and the, then we're going to darken it up with uh, some soft black okay so i'm going to pick up my shader i'm going to take a, a bigger number 14 shader brush just so i can have like a nice wide uh, float here I'm going to pick up some burnt umber. Okay, so I went from the edge here and just pick it up. I'm 
Okay, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna pick up some um, uh, some soft black just to darken this up. And then we're gonna add little dots of Van Napa Red at the bottom. So let's pick up some, I left my brush dirty and I just picked up some soft black. Okay, again, I'm just gonna go from the side here. And I'm just going to soften this up. Okay, I'm going to take my micron liner again. And then I'm just going to dab on an angle some more Napa Red. And you can go ahead and add some to the... Um, the float that we just just did so that it blends a little bit more over here Okay, I just want to make sure we did everything that needed to be done, and uh, I'm happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this class. If you have any questions, or uh, you can drop an email, a message. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. And again, thank you for joining me.